The quest for mind control is no longer science fiction, it's a race, and the finish line is a future where humans and machines communicate seamlessly. Brain-Computer Interface Technology, or BCI, is surging ahead, with two major players vying for supremacy. On one side, we have Neuralink, the brainchild of tech titan Elon Musk. On the other, NewCyber, the ambitious newcomer from Beijing, Shinjida Neurotechnology, making its debut at the Zhongguangkun Forum 2024. Both are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, testing their implants on animals and even humans with some astonishing results. But it's not all smooth sailing. The road to integration is fraught with challenges, from FDA approvals to data privacy to ethical considerations. So, who's leading the pack in this high-stakes race? Let's dive in. First up, we have Neuralink, the brainchild of tech tycoon Elon Musk. This venture is all about creating harmonious interaction between humans and the digital world. It's no small task, but then again, Musk is no stranger to taking on titanic challenges. Neuralink burst onto the scene with a clear vision to implant thin threads into the human brain, connecting us to computers in ways we could only dream of. This revolutionary brain-computer interface, or BCI, aims to help those with neurological conditions and eventually enhance human cognition. In a significant stride forward, Neuralink received FDA approval for human trials in 2023. This milestone was followed by a successful demonstration in February of 2024, where a human participant was able to control a computer mouse using the implant. It was a watershed moment that brought us one step closer to Musk's ambitious vision of symbiosis between the human brain and artificial intelligence. But the journey of Neuralink is not just about technological prowess. It's also a tale of perseverance and audacity. From navigating regulatory mazes to pushing the boundaries of what's scientifically possible, Neuralink is shaping the narrative of the future. With Musk's ambitious plans, Neuralink promises to change the world. But it's not alone in this race. Please subscribe and like the video and let's see next there's a formidable challenger rising in the east ready to make its mark in the world of BCI technology. Enter NewCyber, China's answer to Neuralink, making waves with its high-throughput flexible microelectrodes and neural decoding algorithm. NewCyber is the brainchild of Beijing Shinjida Neurotechnology, an ambitious company backed by the Chinese Community Party and eager to compete in the global brain-computer interface, or BCI, market. The world first caught sight of NewCyber at the 2024 Zhongguangkun Forum, a tech-centric event held in Beijing. The presentation was nothing short of impressive, demonstrating a monkey controlling a robotic arm using only its thoughts. This was made possible by NewCyber's BCI implant, a testament to the potential of this technology, but what makes New Cyber special? It's all about the details. The implant is a marvel of engineering, consisting of high-throughput flexible microelectrodes, neural signal acquisition devices, and a neural decoding algorithm. This combination of components enables the device to have high-speed, low-power consumption, and superior computing power for visual target detection. The development of New Cyber is a clear reflection of China's ambition to advance in BCI technology and compete with Neuralink. The Chinese Institute for Brain Research, or CIBR, has co-developed the new cyber system, further underscoring the country's commitment to this field. However, it's important to note that while Neuralink has already conducted human trials, new cyber has not yet undergone this crucial step. The long-term health implications of BCIs in humans are still unknown, adding another layer to this complex and fast-paced race. While new cyber is yet to undergo human trials, its potential is undeniable. As BCI technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see more advancements from NuCyber and other similar initiatives. The race is on, and the finish line is a world where human thought can directly interact with technology, potentially revolutionizing how we live, work, and play. Now let's put these two titans head-to-head. -head. In the left corner, we have Neuralink, Elon Musk's brainchild. This company has made significant strides since its inception, with the Food and Drug Administration's approval for human trials in 2023 being a notable achievement. Neuralink's technology is designed to help people with disabilities and they have already demonstrated a human participant using a computer mouse with their implant. In the right corner, we have NewCyber, the brain-computer interface from Beijing Shinjida Neurotechnology. This Chinese contender has developed a high-speed, low-power chip that boasts superior computing power for visual target detection. The new cyber system has been tested on monkeys, enabling them to control a robotic arm with their thoughts. When it comes to unique selling points, 
Neuralink has the advantage of being the first to receive FDA approval for human trials, a significant milestone in the field of brain-computer interfaces. Meanwhile, NewCyber impresses with its high-throughput flexible microelectrodes and neural decoding algorithm. In terms of potential applications, both Neuralink and NewCyber aim to revolutionize sectors like medical rehabilitation, driverless driving, and virtual reality. Neuralink's goal is to assist people with disabilities, while NewCyber aims to catch up with Neuralink's advancements and compete in the global brain-computer interface market. However, both companies face significant challenges. For Neuralink, the long-term health implications of brain-computer interfaces in humans are still unknown. On the other hand, NewCyber has yet to receive approval for human trials, a crucial step in demonstrating the safety and efficacy of its technology. While both companies have their strengths, the real test will be in how they navigate the roadblocks ahead. Both Neuralink and NewCyber will need to address concerns about data privacy, ethics, and the risk of infection during implantation. In response to these issues, brain-computer interface companies have formed an industry group to build trust with regulators and the public. While both companies have their strengths, the real test will be in how they navigate the roadblocks ahead. In this race, regulatory approval is the biggest hurdle. As we delve into the complexities of brain-computer interface technology, we must grapple with the intricacies of regulatory norms and ethical dilemmas. Neuralink crossed a significant milestone when it received FDA approval for human trials back in 2023. This process, however, is lengthy, rigorous, and fraught with challenges, requiring comprehensive preclinical data to demonstrate safety and potential efficacy. On the other hand, NewCyber, the Chinese counterpart, operates in a different regulatory environment. There's potential for a faster approval process, given China's strategic interest in accelerating its technological advancements. However, this does not imply any laxity in safety measures or ethical standards. The main objective remains the same, to ensure that this revolutionary technology is safe for human application. And this brings us to a critical point, the ethical considerations surrounding brain-computer interfaces. As we venture into the realm of melding human consciousness with artificial intelligence, we tread a fine line. The potential benefits are enormous from helping paralyzed individuals regain mobility to possibly curing neurological conditions. However, this also opens a Pandora's box of ethical and privacy concerns. Imagine a world where tech companies could potentially have access to our thoughts or where our brain data could be hacked. It's a chilling prospect, isn't it? This is why the BCI industry, including Neuralink and NewCyber, has been proactive in forming an industry group to address these concerns. These companies understand the importance of building trust with regulators and the public. They are committed to ensuring data privacy, addressing ethical considerations, and minimizing risks of infection during implantation. The path to widespread adoption of BCI technology is fraught with challenges, but whoever overcomes these will lead the race. As we look to the future, we realize that this is not just a race for technological supremacy, but also a quest for ethical responsibility and regulatory compliance. The future of BCI technology is on the horizon and the stakes are high. As we've seen, both Neuralink and NewCyber are making impressive strides in the field, each boasting unique strengths and facing their own challenges. Neuralink, with its first mover advantage, has already received FDA approval for human trials, a significant milestone in the realm of BCI technology. This approval speaks volumes about the confidence regulators have in Neuralink's safety protocols and technological capabilities. However, with this comes increased scrutiny and higher expectations. Neuralink must continue to innovate, ensuring its technology remains cutting edge and its ethical standards uncompromised. On the other side of the globe, NewCyber, backed by Beijing Shinjita Neurotechnology, is nipping at Neuralink's heels. While it has not yet undergone human trials, it's showing promise with its high-throughput flexible microelectrodes and superior computing power. Moreover, the regulatory landscape in China could potentially fast-track NewCyber's development, allowing it to close the gap on Neuralink. The potential future scenarios for both companies are exciting and varied. For Neuralink, applications could extend beyond medical rehabilitation to realms like driverless driving and virtual reality. Meanwhile, NewCyber, with its impressive visual target detection capabilities, could revolutionize how we interact with technology on a daily basis. But who will lead the pack in the end? It's a tough call. 
The frontrunner will be determined by a multitude of factors, from technological advancements and regulatory approvals to ethical handling of data privacy and commercialization strategies. As the race continues, one thing is clear. The winner will shape the future of human-machine interaction. Whether it's Neuralink's ambitious plans or New Cyber's impressive strides, the outcome will undoubtedly usher in a new era of technological innovation. The world watches with bated breath as these two titans vie for the lead in the BCI technology race.